All right, the Mustang has a new home. No, I'm not getting rid of her. I bought something new, so let's go take a look. I bought a trailer. <laughs> this is a 2017, 24 foot enclosed trailer. And she is really nice. Big door back here. We got some 12 volt lights that turn on there. We got uh, lights overhead, some openings. The only thing we don't have up in the top that would be nice is some AC, but we have this uh, side door, which is really nice. So this will be handy for getting in and out of the car, not having to like squirm through the window or tow it in or something like that, which right now we don't have any kind of winch in here, but uh, Easily, hopefully, we haven't put the car in here yet. Hopefully, easily be able to get in and out of the car. And and do you just feel the breeze once we open that door, come through here? It feels quite nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll come in really handy. You can also, you know, kind of maybe hang out here a little bit if it's rainy or something like that. I think eventually we'll probably get a, a canopy on that side to go along with those uh, lights over there. The previous owner had gone in and put in these uh, these boards down here to kind of he he uh, did a, a Corvette, uh, so he had these in here to kind of raise the car up to be able to for one get over top of uh, this ledge because the tire wheel well still stays in there when you open it up. It's just uh, above it that opens. It's something that he did himself, uh, so that's really nice. Uh, but this will help uh, you know get the car up off. Be easy to tie down hopefully so we'll see how well it works out but so far I kind of like it we've got these little bumps in here to uh, be able to stop uh, we got lights which don't work at the moment uh, because we're not plugged into any kind of power uh, so we need these are all 120 volts so they work off of shore power uh, there's a little generator uh, box right in here so if you swoop around so underneath here on the outside is a, a generator box and there's a, a power box in there and a 30 amp cord. So we have shore power that we want to or we can put a generator in there and then we'll have you know outlets and 120 volt uh, lights and anything else that we want to plug into it or eventually if we want to have AC. So really like that. We got the tire spare tire down in here and a little bit of extra storage if we want to kind of jam the th some things down in there but as you can see we have all kinds of storage <laughs> this thing is this is i really i really like this uh, it's already done it's not something that i have to do afterwards or you know make it you know i don't think i could make something this nice looking yeah and then the walls are nice you know they're the they're not just plywood or anything like that so but these things got little snaps we got tons of room because there's a little bit of a v nose so it goes you know all the way back here underneath then we got the cabinets up top also go all the way back to the v nose which is really nice so not sure what i'm going to put all in these but i am sure that i will fill them up pretty quickly uh, just being able to take more spare parts and having a clean workspace is going to be really nice. Uh, we'll always also be able to just load things up and not have to worry about it. So that was the big reason that I bought the trailer was uh, security of the car. So I can have the car and not have to worry about issues of staying at hotels or things like that. The car is enclosed. It's safe. It's out of the weather too. Uh, so if we were ever going through 
rain with the hood louvers that I have in there, I would put a, a plastic bag down so we didn't get the engine all wet. So we are now sheltered, we're safe. And then it also gives us a place to sleep. So the car, you know, is gonna come to about here. So we got all this room. I've already laid down here. We can fit an air mattress. And that is gonna be uh, the plan for whatever events allow us to camp. Not all events will allow us to camp on site, but the ones that do, we are going to uh, just set up an air mattress here and sleep in the trailer, which is gonna be really nice. Uh, probably eventually gonna get a generator. So then we have, uh, we can either have like a little heater or fan or uh, maybe eventually AC. AC would be nice, but I think I would have to probably insulate. I don't think there's anything in those walls. So this thing is going to get probably pretty warm in the summertime. Uh, maybe we'll at least start with doing the, the roof or something like that. But yeah, it's, this is uh, really nice. Got a, uh, a good price on it. I mean, it was a respectable price, but uh, a good price nonetheless. Uh, definitely worth it in every regard. So I'm I'm super happy. Uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do. Uh, so my open trailer that I have now, I haven't really shown it too much on videos, I think, but it's just an open trailer, open center, which really love the open center. Uh, the open center is great for if you ever need to work on the car. It's also lighter than a fully decked one. Uh, you just can't really use it to carry things around as much, but I don't really use it for carrying things around. But having the open center, the open trailer is perfect and so that trailer is not going anywhere i'm going to keep that one that is a good trailer for just if we're going around town and you know not going very far i'm not going to take this trailer to every event probably just the ones that we start traveling to a little bit further uh, so the open trailer will still get used for local events and then if i ever have to go rescue a vehicle which does happen i i, I have that trailer uh since i do have a trailer i give that kind of call a lot of times to go uh Rescue a vehicle that's broken down. Um, rescued some of my vehicles that have broken down. So, gonna definitely keep that, but luckily we have the room here at the house to keep both the trailers. We are kind of getting tight on room, so I'm gonna have to downsize a little bit, but yeah. What do you think, Ashley? I'm in love. You're in love? I can't yeah. wait to stay in here with the car and sleep with the Mustang. Yep. Hopefully it being black on the outside isn't going to uh, be too bad. It's going to probably be warm. It's already a little warm, but it's also pretty humid today. Thank you guys for watching. I am super excited about this trailer. We're both super excited about this trailer. We're going to be using it. Uh, we got a lot of events coming up. We got one coming up next weekend, so stay tuned for that. And then more autocross is coming right after that. Then we got Ford Fest. Super excited about that one coming up at the end of uh, September here. So. A lot of events coming up. We'll have videos coming out as quickly as I can do them. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.